hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back so we have a new it girl in san alto if you don't know about san alto i have a whole series called kukwa in the city and it is all about a girl named kukwa who moved to the big city of san alto which is all about luxury and elevated lifestyles and um yeah i've been playing out that city and developing it and we have a new girl in town and her name is tiana and she is our newest it girl period so if you haven't seen on my community tab i did post and i was like there's a new girl in town her name is tiana so you can go and see her post that post and you can see some of her outfits but she's in her pjs right now she's chilling and her apartment is <laughs> kind of chaotic and in shambles so if you've seen my last kukwa in the city episode with um kukwa went over to wes's house this is the same apartment um layout as wes's apartment so same thing just different walls different flooring things like that so she's basically been living off of pizza and wine and cookies and packaged goods because i have not uh decorated her home yet so we're going to do that together tiana is a pleasure sim she, she has a goal to run a boutique in um i was going to say deanwood sorry in san alto um right now she's unemployed but she is like a fashion influencer She's pretty nice, pretty playful, kind of lazy, kind of shy, kind of sloppy. Um, and her interests are environment, food, fashion, of course, uh, and work because she does want to have her own business. I did get some requests to uh, show how I decorate. So I'm going to, um, I guess, walk you through that today. So this is the kitchen, of course, of course, the dining area. area. And I'm thinking we're going to do... Um, countertop stove this way and then like a breakfast nook on this side that's what i'm thinking so that's what we're gonna do and i can walk you through this or i might speed it up just depending on the vibe um sometimes i feel like talking through things sometimes i don't so it kind of depends i hope you all are doing good i hope things are going well for you i had an okay week so i'm excited to be playing sims and to be chilling a bit uh life is stressful enough <laughs> so sometimes you just need a good sim session you know what i mean to calm you down um yeah i'm gonna do these and yeah 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 these are a thousand dollar counters bro crazy so pricey okay um we're gonna do a stove um you know i like i like stainless steel appliances truthfully uh if they had like a lighter silver than this oh they have a white yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna do the white um and i'm gonna have to rearrange this area of course but i like to just pull out the things i know i'm gonna use um and i'll put the fridge here so we'll put a counter right here and for the fridge i would like it to match the stove um you know as as close as possible it doesn't have to be a perfect match yeah an all white kitchen I love the vibe it's giving what it needs to i am tempted to move the stove here and put a sink here um, and the reason for that is because I do want to put a hood you know those uh, vent the vent system thing over the um, stove so let's pop a sink in here yeah so obviously the the aesthetic here is all white and so that's all I do I just grab what I have that's all white you could do some accents if you wanted to do all white but like a black sink instead it doesn't have to be matchy 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 you know what I mean make the hardware white black so it matches a bit of the stove um the hood thing for the oven is in decor I find that weird that it's in decor uh I think it should be in appliances like obviously where the oven is is where the oven hood range thing should be I am going to put this here because it is an apartment and I feel like that makes sense. One thing I envy about um, other Sims games is that you can search things in the catalog. I wish you could do that for this um, game. I wish. So that's the hood range. So now we have like a functioning kitchen, right? This kitchen looks great to me. I don't have any problems with it. I think it looks good. Now is where the clutter comes in. The clutter is what makes the kitchen the kitchen. Like sorry but the clutter is what makes this work one thing i will show you guys is this piece right here this is invisible kitchen counter surface so what it is is it's this green thing and it's basically like a kitchen counter or msp it behaves like a counter so if i put this over top of the sink if my sim wanted to prepare a meal they could prepare a meal right where that green tile is 
This comes in handy and is so useful. So we're going to pull it out. Another thing that's really useful when you're decorating are OMSPs. You don't need these because you can now use Lamar's Move Shiftable Objects Everywhere mod or whatever that mod is called. Um, I still use these from time to time. So you're going to need an OMSP for a counter. You can see that these are all different. This one's for bed. This one's for the high fridges. So it's a very tall beam and it goes above the fridge. So we could use this as well. But we will use the one for the counter. Now you turn on your cheats and you do bull prop. I already have it open so I'm going to just do bull prop snap objects to grid. False. When you put this cheat in, what it does is it allows your items to not be snapping to the grid. You can see things are moving so smoothly. I can put anything really anywhere. This is what we want. So that when we're putting our clutter items on the counter, we can put things in this far corner. We could put the soap right beside the sink. We could put something on this far edge, not just right in the middle here. Also, with this counter piece, we could also make it straightforward. We could move it here. We could put it on this very corner here. So that means if I put it on this corner, my sim can prepare a meal right here in the center as usual, but also right on this corner. So there's more space. That's what we want, more space. So I'm going to put, I put a bunch down personally because I like my sims to have options. So if these slots are full, there's still room to make a meal. Next, let's go into our deco. Obviously, this is dependent on what CC do you have. I have a bunch of CC. I am a CC addict. So I'm going to drop down the CC I'm interested in. So the first thing I like are these glasses because Tiana is, she's kind of uppity, right? Oh, they stack. Oh, I like that. Well, oh, they stack in twos. Okay. She's kind of uppity. So her um, glassware, her plates, like I imagine everything being a little bit bougie. So we'll do this. Okay. I also have these. Ooh, these are really nice. I see that being a part of her, her aesthetic for sure. So we'll do this for glassware. I have some seasonings. These are just multiple spices. Um, I have some salt here, which I like to put down. I have some Pam spray, cooking spray that I like to put down. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't come across as somebody that's like super into cooking. So I'm not going to clutter her space up with all these types of bags of flowers and Stuff like that because it doesn't seem like it suits her. Instead, I'll think, what would somebody who goes to Whole Foods, you know, what would they use? And so maybe some like jarred pickles and like things like that. Something that's a little more aesthetic. Uh, what is this? This is vanilla. Okay, I could see her having some vanilla in her home. Cool. I have um, a dish rack. Most people have dish racks, right? We can uh, pick a nice recolor that suits the kitchen. I like this one. That's pretty. I like that. And so what I do is I just pull out things. You don't have to pull out too many things because truthfully, you won't even have room for everything, right? We could put this detergent here. I always like to put down this soap here because I think everyone should wash their hands, including my Sims, okay? <laughs> uh, we have some champagne here. We could pop a champagne out. This is enough clutter. This is more than enough. You don't need this much. Uh, I'm being a little bit extra because I am showing you how to clutter up a space. Um, one thing I forgot is a trash can. I like for my Sims to have like a separate garbage as opposed to, um, you know, having it in the machine and I'll put her laundry, her detergent bin thing over there. Cool. Now let's continue. We want to apply these things up top. So this is why one, these green things come in handy because you don't need to worry about counter space. You could clutter up the whole counter. It will not matter. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is grab a bunch of these um, slots. I don't always use these slots. The easier thing to do is to use Lamar's shiftable mod. And what that mod does is you just pick whatever you want up. You use your bracket sign and you can see that it's immediately up, right? But it does snap to the middle. So I'm going to show you how I like override that, I guess, is what I'm saying. Now, where do we want these wine glasses to go? You know, I also think it'd be kind of cute if she had like a little shelf like right here. Okay, so we have these different shelves. One thing that's important to me is that the recolors will match. Uh, if it's wood like this, it's ugly. So it should be like, oh, like this is nice, right? This is like a nice marble shelf. Looks like she just installed it into her own place. So we're going to go here, use your brackets, and we're going to 
yeah we're gonna level it right there so what you're gonna first do is block off all the slots on the counter so you have your middle slot and then your two slots that come from this green thing you could also just not put the green things down yet that's also an option then you make sure your bullpop snap objects to grid false cheat is on so now we have our wine glasses and it's a nice smooth progression what we're gonna do is use our bracket uh, key and hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it until you get your wine glass all the way to where it needs to be. When you use this mod, right? I'm gonna do like this, yeah. You can see if you leave it like this, the glasses are in the shelf. So lift it up, the glasses are not, not quite there yet. Lift it up one more time, the glasses are perfect. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna place that one there. Let's grab this wine glass as well, set here. And we are going to double it. Then let's grab the plates and move them up here. Up, 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 up. Yeah, right here is good. Grab the second plate and double it. Then all you got to do is take the salt here and delete it. Boom. So now you have like a really nice, you know, where she keeps her glassware. So that's really lovely. Uh, we do have these, uh, what are these? These plates, we can see that it easily snaps and then we're gonna probably lift this one up here and maybe put it like on this side yeah cool and so this is our glassware corner for tiana and this is where she keeps all her her pretty china <laughs> her beautiful dinnerware when she you know is hosting or whatever the case is so yeah, I just basically go ahead in with my clutter. I don't need that anymore. I like to use the Lamar's um, mod. You can also just go ahead and use this. You can see that when you use these OMSPs, it just allows you to move things seamlessly. And then you recolor the OMSP to make it clear so it doesn't look like anything is there. Lovely, perfect. We love to see it. Uh, do we want anything else on this table here? Hmm, we can do the vanilla the cooking spray and the salt and put them in this corner here Let's put the salt down and the cooking spray as well and just clutter it you know keep things close everything doesn't need to be super far away from each other um, and then go in with your recolor tool and recolor all of these to be clear or invisible and that's kind of how you get that look right and now of course there's so much more tin salts we don't need all these salts so we can go ahead and delete them and i keep this because when you go into live mode this disappears so now she has this area to cook food but also this little corner here if she needed it so you can see this is kind of a cluttered up kitchen and dining ware. let's continue there was a sink here i don't know where the sink has gone that happens to me often as well um I'll put down a sink and then it'll disappear. I don't know why, but it does happen a lot. So it's very annoying. Cool. We're going to put the dish rack next. I did change the sink um, just because that's what I prefer. So we, we can put the dish rack right here if we want to, right? So I'm going to delete the salt here and move this. And then I'm going to put this on an OMSP and move this seamlessly i'm going to rotate it because usually your dish rack is like right by should it even be like on this side which side do we think usually when i wash dishes i put it on this side cool then i'm going to move this which is a fake counter placement and i'll put it right here so your sim can still prepare food right over here boom next we have some soap okay and the soap is the same thing you want to uh, make sure you grab your OMSP. Okay. Then you want to put your soap on. And then you want to move it right to the corner of the sink. Like that. So it's kind of like realistic. You know, you finish washing your hands. And I think we can recolor the soap. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. Let's do purple. Lavender, I guess is what it is. <laughs> okay, cool. And then we can uh, wrap it up with this champagne. Uh, we have this LV champagne bottle. And maybe she'll keep the champagne bottle just in the corner here. So we'll just do that. I have to also recolor this dish one. And then recolor that one. Perfect. 
then all you gotta do is delete these salt things if you um, want to add more stuff you can this is looking like a good start to me next we're gonna go into appliances and we're gonna pick some small appliances so think about your sim if it's a family then you know think about the family but if it's just your sim think about your sim what kind of things would they like would they like tea would they like coffee would they like a toaster would they like like what what kind of things would they like so uh i'm thinking she would like a toaster and i do have a smeg toaster so i think she would like that in white cool now you can put the toaster back here it's not really a big problem you can put the toaster back here you can put the toaster right here and i'll put it right there any other appliances that your sim might like you can use this time to think about um, I see some coffee grounds that I like and I want to use them. I also see a mug that I like and would like to use as well. So what we're going to do is just grab anything. I'm going to grab the mug here and I'm going to click and block the mug. Use the mug to block this green um, counter space. But yeah, I kind of just think like what is her aesthetic? What is her vibe? And then go from there. So we've cluttered up the area a bit, we added a little mug, you know, all these other things. This to me is a, a good clutter. I wouldn't do too much more here. Maybe a rug, but oftentimes I don't even bother. But we could put a rug just for the sake of me showing you. And just put like one right by the sink, like right there. Perfect. So this is Tiana's kitchen. We'll get rid of this. And of course, your Sims always need what? A smoke detector? burglar alarm cool so this is her kitchen and we're basically done now on this side she will have you know dinner parties so she's gonna have um a nice dining space at least to seat four and then she can have some greenery i think we, i do have these really cool um this is huge but this might be better and then it comes with a, a stand here i think this is sorry my game is freezing so this is really nice in my opinion I think it seats four, and so I'm going to find some really nice chairs that will go with this table. I'm thinking like these. Yeah, this chair looks like it's the right type of chair. Cool. So we have this. Then, of course, you can see there's two bare walls here, right? You can now pretty much do whatever you feel works in this type of setting. I think that hanging plants and wall plants work really well when you want a, a touch of greenery okay we can change it so that's good so this is really nice and then let's change the um the base of it right oh we can also change the type of greenery that it is that's really cool i like this one for her oh yes and then the base is white perfect how perfect is that um we could do two you could do another one i think one is okay and then we'll do something on the wall on this side. And again, this is up to you and your vibe. Think about your sim. This sim is very uppity. She's very formal. She's very trendy. So maybe something like this with the zebra, the black and white tying in. That looks good. And so this is what the kitchen looks like. So I kind of just toss things around and see what's going to happen. There we go. You could also put like a center table a centerpiece not a center table <laughs> sometimes i like to do like um not that like wine in the center or like a bowl, bowl of candy in the center that's cool you could do a book you could do some baked goods not a burrito but like you know bagels or cookies or something um you could always switch it up you could do this mug here just put that in the center um what else some wine on the table do that these are my treats i like these these are cute and so this will be kind of like our centerpiece so that is her kitchen so this is kind of how i work and design and think i just think about the sim think about their lifestyle think about who they are and then you have this beautiful cluttered kitchen and dining space and she'll be the type to host events and so everyone can you know fit i guess um and yeah i think it's, it's really lovely let's have her make some nutella toast Her PJs are so cute. <laughs> She's gonna make some toast. Wait for it to pop. Wait for it to pop. Yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and sit down. 
on this beautiful table here and have our Nutella. Yum. So I hope you all enjoyed my little demo of how I decorate. It's kind of sporadic. It's kind of all over the place, but um, hopefully it inspires you to decorate a little more in your game as well. So I shall talk to you all later. Take care. Bye.